So today we're gonna to show you how to use High Level's brand new automation recipes that are not half bad and that are actually pretty useful in some of the things that you're trying to do now with High Level. So stay tuned and we're gonna show you how to activate them and start using them right away inside your own High Level account. So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but it's actually some of the recipes they had in the past were okay, right? But over time, I guess high levels just put a little bit more effort into it and they're actually pretty cool. And what's really, really neat is that some of these automations showcase some of the features that are out there that are really powerful right now, including Facebook and Instagram comments, the IVR system, even the old school appointment reminders that again, if you don't want to build an automation for, you could just use some of these recipes to kind of get you started. So without further ado, let's kind of jump in. So if we go over to the left-hand side and most of us are going to start on our launch pad or on our dashboard. This is a fake account. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right into our automations on the left hand side. I'm just going to come over here, hit create folder and 04, and I'm going to call this recipe practice. All right. And I'm going to hit create. Now, when I come in here, I'm going to hit my little folder that I created just to try out some of these recipes. Because again, just in case they don't work, or if I just want to play with them a little bit, I'm not interfering with anything else that's going on in my account. Now I'm going to go ahead and create workflow. I don't know if you watched our previous video, but there is a video right now that I have that is a brand new feature that we've been really working with a lot is the Instagram and Facebook comment replies. And more importantly, allowing the ability of like running ads off of these things and everything else. But what's cool is that high level went in and they added two of the recipes to make our lives a little bit easier, which I find is so cool. Like that, instead of having to build the whole thing out from scratch, you can now use one of these recipes right from the beginning. So for instance, if I wanted to have an automated response, or I wanted to send a DM that's very specific to a comment or on a post that I drop. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this right now. Like if you're looking for my guide and I have this post talking about my guide and what it does, I just type in type guide in the bottom and you'll get it sent to your DM. Now, before I would have to build that automation, but now if you come in here, you have all these different recipes right when you go in and you hit that create a workflow. And again, I'm in that folder, like I mentioned before, I went to create a workflow and look, it has select a recipe. I'm going to select the recipe. And in this case, I want to do that Instagram comment automation. Well, here it is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit select with this. I I have my Instagram and comment automation and look, it's already all set up, which I think is so freaking cool. Before it would just be a little bit of a, like kind of, you would have to work it all out. But now strictly from high level, it is coming here and it is showing you how to operate this thing. So if I go here, all I have to do is basically just turn on the thing. So if I come in here and I had a page connected, I would connect my page. Then I would do my post replies. Now, again, there's no page connected, so it's kind of hard on this account. But then what I would do is I would add a filter and then I would go to the particular page. I would go to the particular post and then I would work and it's already got on the first level tracks only which is great. And then I can create different responses that I want to keep continuously rotating to kind of get it through there. And I can automatically like comments. It's all preset for me. And then I can have an interactive message back that replies back in the DMS. And that basically has like a visitor website, get the checklist. And it waits an additional step that if they click on any of these buttons, I can then send another message to them. And here's your checklist and everything else. So guys, this is super important because it just kind of gives you the framework to build whatever you want. And this is just the first one, right? If I back over here and I wanted to do one for Facebook, I can do the same exact thing. I can come over here, create a workflow, go select the recipe again, come in here. And we have a full video on this, so I don't want to get too details into this, but just wanted to show you the core ones that I definitely would 100% recommend using. Like for instance, here's your Facebook comment automation, same thing, but now it's from Facebook and it's already all preset for you. Again, you would lock in your Facebook page. You would select the published post, the post is, and then it can change whatever phrase like checklist. And now the second somebody does that, it tracks the first level comments, just like before, responds back, lights the comment, and then based on the selection that they choose, they choose one of these different scenarios, and then it waits five minutes if they respond and it sends them the actual checklist right here and there, which I think is great. And not only does it do that, it also has these different selections that you can use for calling us, visiting our website, and so much more, right? Hey, we wanna interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We wanna thank you for being here, but more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have. A lot 
live with a group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this, and also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need, and if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. So the cool thing about these recipes and why this is important is before a lot of these automations would have to be created. So for instance, let's take an old school one and this is the one, honestly, that I always build from my appointment reminders, right? If I come in here and I want to do an appointment reminder, all I have to do is go look for the recipe. If I come all the way down and I see right here, there are three of them, I believe. There is appointment confirmation reminder, survey and review request, send a review request, appointment booking, and I believe appointment confirmation and reminder. I use this thing all the time. I'm gonna load it. And this is what I mean by how I modify these to work for my features, right? So I come in here, first thing is I number these like I always do. If it's gonna be appointment, I'll use an A, zero, one. Now I have appointment confirmation and reminder. It has appointment, status confirmed, event type is normal. If I wanna be specific for individual calendars, meaning I want a specific automation go into a specific calendar, I would come in here and I would literally select in calendar, come over here, and then I would select whatever calendar I've already pre-made. If I leave it just to any time, any appointment is confirmed, these now become my generic appointment reminders that are automatically gonna fire once I turn this thing on for every single calendar confirmation that I have. But what's cool is I can come in here and I can modify everything that I need. Look, high contact first name, your appointment is confirmed or whatever. Let us know if you have any questions. In the meantime, when it's time, please use a Zoom ID. Now, if I don't have a Zoom ID, I delete this. And if I wanna use the Zoom ID and I'm using round robin calendars, watch my calendar video, you'll be able to understand that this can then be replaced with meeting location. So I can come over here and I can go to meeting location. And honestly, this thing is ready to rock and roll. And all I have to do is create a little bit of space, make sure it's nice and neat. And I got myself like automations right then and there. And if I wanted to add, let's say two days before, I could just come in here, do, all right, like a wait. We'll do what's called an event appointment relay before two days. And now I have a two day wait. And then actually, I'm sorry, copy this. We want to put that after the confirmation email. Hmm. Copy action, put it right here. And then now I can take this email. That's a 24 hour reminder. Copy it, copy action, put it for the two day wait and just label this two days before. All right. And then come over here, take this 24 hour reminder that I copied and it'll be two days before email is in two days. Boom. Come over here again, instead of 24 hour in two days, give it some spacing. Boom. Update the Zoom ID, which is not a real ID. Come in here, go to appointment. Oops, sorry. Go to appointment, meaning location. And now I'll bring in whatever I have on my round robin calendar. Damn, look at that. Now this is all ready, set to go. I now have appointment reminders. Well, what if I wanted a no-show? You could do the same thing. They got a no-show recipe, right? So if I wanted a no-show, I go back to select recipe. I go all the way down to my no-show, hit select, and then come over here and it's A02. I got my no-show recipe. Now, anytime the status on the appointment goes to no-show, here's a rescheduling and following up link. Insert calendar link here. It even tells you what you have to do and you can move forward from that. So what I'm saying is this is actually pretty cool because it allows you to take advantage of all the different recipes here that are brand new. Now they also have some AI kind of creation. Now, the only thing that I don't necessarily agree with because we've seen this kind of like not work in people's favor is recipe comments plus workflow AI. A lot of people are using this one. The problem is if your bot is not trained or it can hallucinate sometimes and then this will kind of just go all over the place. I personally wouldn't do this, but I know a lot of people are, but it already has the setup where this is a comment and Facebook post by user, I sell personal finance courses. Because what a lot of people are doing, by the way, is they are not changing this. And every time they put this bot on, it automatically is responding back to finance courses. You would wanna make sure you have a very elaborate prompt here that is very specific to your particular product. But like I said, this one is the one that I personally would never use just because I wanna make sure that my comments are relevant and not hallucinating by some kind of crazy bot. But the fact that it's there, you can use it as a recipe. Now, the other really cool one that a lot of people are taking advantage of is the IVR. If you have LC or Twilio Connect, oh, well, LC, not Twilio, but if you have LC 
connected and you're like, well, I don't even know how to start with IVR. Meaning if somebody calls in a number, your number, let's say it's 1-800-555-1212. I call in what an IVR is, is when the phone picks up, there'll be press one for sales, press two for customer service. And you basically can start the IVR for any particular number that you have. You have a welcome message that automatically comes in here. You could say welcome, blah, blah, blah. Number of loops is one. It, it's all here. Press one here, the list of services. Press two to leave a voicemail. Press three to talk to our team. Now, based on what they select, look how cool this is. If they press one, press two, press three, then it records the list of services that you can list right here. Here are a list of services. And it's got service one, service two, service three. And then again, based on what they press, you would have another tree going on down here and you would build it off of that. This is super, super, super cool. And again, you can add pre-recorded messages, you can transfer to an agent and it goes to a selected user and the list goes on and on, but you have like a full IVR system and they give you the actual recipe for it to fully build it out. Now, I don't know about you, but that's like really, really cool that the fact that they have something like this, which again, for a normal user that doesn't really know anything about it and you wanna kind of get your feet wet on it and start playing around with these things, for anybody that wants to get their feet wet with it, these are actually pretty good to start off with. Then you go back to select a recipe, there are send product recommendations to GPT-4 Turbo. So this one's really cool for anybody that has Shopify or a specific product and you automatically want to send like an email with product recommendations based on what they bought. If you come in here and you write this prompt out specifically, that will go to ChatGTP. It will come back with four of the products that are listed and it can go through here. Again, a lot of really cool things you can do. Again, anytime there's AI involved, I just ask you to proceed with caution, try it out a couple of times before you release it out to the public. But the fact that it's even here and they're even giving you this for free without having somebody create it is pretty good. Then you got something like long-term nurture reactivation email sequence an email drip on a contact, you know, that you want to follow up on like a perspective, like prospect or any kind of follow-up series. Look at this email. Number one, if they open the email, then was the email open? Yes. Then send them email number two. If the email wasn't open, then you send it with a new subject line, wait one day and go to. So now they're even giving you kind of like a little bit of marketing advice how you can differentiate like emails to get different requests and to see whether or not people are engaging with your email. How cool is this? Again, these are just really good things that nobody's taken advantage of. And it's just a really, really good way to get yourself up and coming like and really fast in some of these pretty advanced automations. I mean, between the IVR, the Facebook comments, the Instagram comments, and even this email drip follow-up, that is pretty solid. And then they have some of the old school ones, like I told you, I still use the birthday template one and I use the appointment confirmation reminders. But what's really cool is the fact that they have some of these already for you. I just want to make sure you all are taking advantage of it. Go in there, turn some of these on for your business because this will 100% help you out. And it just introduces you to the brand new features that are out there for high level itself. Now, hope you enjoyed this video. Go out there and play with some recipes. We're going to build some of these out in future videos, but we want to give you like a sneak peek where you don't have to wait for us. You can go ahead and design some of these pretty extensive automations on your own without needing really any support with maybe a little bit of guidance. But honestly, the way we learn automations is we build it and break it. <laughs> So if you're not doing that on a regular basis inside a high level, you're really not learning at the best possible, fastest way that you can inside here. But honestly, some of these are pretty fire and I would recommend you going in there and trying these out. So hopefully this helps and we'll see you in the next one.